actually, this is in discharge of our responsibility as, as ministers of transportation in the ministry. I don't see why anybody is complaining. What is wrong in looking at what's happening in MPA? I don't see what is wrong in that. As Minister for Transportation for four years, I, I hardly have known what's happening in MPA. And I want to know now. And the President agreed with me that it's my responsibility as the Minister for Transportation to inquire what is going on. And nobody should forget that we had asked the Office of the Auditor General to allow us to do an audit. And he, he declined, despite the approval of the, of the President. He, uh, he declined. In declining, in declining the approval of the president, uh, we had no choice but to do proper inquiry. Uh, and it, it worries me that people are saying we shouldn't inquire. When nobody has been indicted, it is just can we know what is going on in MPA? That's the question. And I would not want to go outside that. that nobody says by my speech you are in flesh. We want to inquire. What is the procurement process? What is done? If everything is right, why why would why do we have to why do we have to bother at the end of the day? So when you complete your assignment, we'll be glad to pass on the report to, to the president. But don't forget the assignment includes the fact that you have to look at the procurement and the procurement processes from 2016 to the date. 2000, that's why you don't have a time limit, because we really want to know I, I think that if, if MP has not the revenue has exceeded about a trillion naira for the past five years. So I don't think that uh, such a revenue that has exceeded, I'm, and I'm going, by, I'm going by the submission, the budget, budget submission, and the submission with, that, that, that they tendered before the budget office. So if, if their budget in, uh, in five years is between three to 400 billion, let's go by 300 billion. If you multiply it by five, five years, how, how much would that be? I've been mean, either nearly a trillion or slightly above a trillion. So it will take you some time to go through income, expenditure. We're not auditing so that the uh, general won't say you're, you're interfering with his responsibilities. But we want to find out the processes and how that money, how the money was spent and all that. And you should please be diligent. Uh, invite anybody you want to, but please invite the minister if there are infractions that involves the minister. I, I, I've been minister for six years now, so if there's any fraction that you see that requires explanation by the minister, I'll be glad to appear before you and give such, such explanation, if any. Uh, any other person in the ministry or in MPA that you need to invite, please do invite. Let's see what's going on. Because actually, uh, uh, the Nigerian Post Authority as uh, uh, the agency that manages the trading activities that take place in Nigeria, especially as it pertains to uh, maritime, should be able to get in a lot of resources for the government to be able to run, to run government. We want to require all that. How much have we gotten for government? How much have we returned to government or paid back to government? What is, what is the, uh, what they call this? What is the recurrent expenditure? How is capital expenditure? How much of those things have been achieved? Uh, uh, management processes and all that. These are things that we expect from you. And we expect that you do a very thorough job in the sense that at the end of the day, nobody should fault you. Once more, let me thank all of you for accepting to serve and thank my colleague, the Honorable Minister of State and Finance Secretary, for the diligence in arriving at this situation. I continue to tell the public that they should please allow us to do our job. We are appointed by the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to do our job. And when we say we want to do our job, we've not found anybody guilty. It is just part of the responsibility of the ministers of you know, transportation to inquire to any of the agencies. It could have been any agency. It could have been uh, the CRFFN. I, mean, I don't see what's special about MPA that everybody is shouting from one corner or the other. Let us reduce the shouting, allow the, agent, allow the committee to do their job, and then we'll come up with the report. And we'll be public about the report. We'll go to the public after we have uh, uh, pass it to the president. I, I thank all of you. Thank you very much. Found compliance with extant laws and rules from 2016 to date. Examine and investigate issues leading to the termination of pilotage and other contracts of Nigerian Post Authority and confirm compliance with the terms of the respective contracts, court rulings, and presidential directives. Examine and investigate compliance with the communication channel as obtained in the public service. 
examine and investigate the procurement of contracts from 2016 to date, come up with suggestions and advice that will strengthen the operations of Nigerian Post Authority and foster such occurrences in future, if the EPA need, and any other matter that may be necessary in the course of the assignment. Thank you very much. There are questions? You. Questions, yeah. Indicate by raise of hand, tell us your medium, and then give us your question. Not together. Yes, okay. I thought that by saying that uh, because of the fact that they have to deal with uh, uh, issues from 2016 to date, procurement, volume, and that's why, that's why I explained that the amount of revenue that they have come in, and not forget what I used, may have come in, because I'm relying on budgetary provisions and what they submitted to the budget, to the budget office, right? So if you are going to do that, you don't tie them to time. Let them take their time speedily, look at those issues, and, and come to a fruitful conclusion. Any other question, please? Sure. No. Any other question? All right. Okay. My name is Awandi They don't know why it took so much. <laughs> I don't know whether it is late. There is no time that you, there is no time that you by saying why is it now. Maybe they were transparent. Maybe they did all their job. There is an attempt to influence the panel. Secondly, if you see what we've done here, to make sure that nobody accuses us of, of, of influence. We have reduced the, the number of um, uh, people from the ministry are four, right? They are four. Five yes. from the ministry. Six from six. How? Five from the ministry. Let me repeat it. Five from the ministry. Two from the ministry. One, one, two, three, four. Five. Who? Five. That is a one, two, three, four. Are you a member? Yes, yes, yes. Human care is four. Human resources has Oh, the director of human resources. Yes. Okay, so five from the and ministry. Six from six from six from uh, head, of head of service. So at least it's balanced. In fact, the head of office of the head of service has, has more members than the ministry has. Just to make sure that you don't say, okay, Minister for Transport, everybody in the ministry will be will be loyal to him. I, I don't know the members from uh, Office of the head of service, so I'm sure they don't owe me any loyalty. They owe the, the Nigerian government and Nigerian people loyalty. So that's what we've done. Honorable Minister, may I add, um, to be, because this is part of the purview of the Minister of Transportation, mm -hmm. if anything, the Honorable Minister actually went a, f a step further by seeking and obtaining the presidential approval. This is why we, the ministries supervise, and part of that supervisory role includes looking, asking questions, and ensuring that things are followed. Uh, in due process. Um, and like you said, the, the panel has been given the, um, the terms of reference in which to come back on. Uh, I would just like to add to the panel that you see when there's so much noise, it's always best to rise above the noise, block your ears and keep your head down and do, do what is in the interest of the entire country. And, and, and the members on the panel, we believe, will do the right thing. So thank you. Any other questions, please? Okay, so I'm going to be honest and fair in the discharge of this warrior's responsibility. So that at the end of the day, when we turn out our report, it will be good and it will ensure that um, what is praised, what, what the panels were raised was achieved. And uh, I believe we are going to do in the interest of the ministry of the country as a whole. So we are seeking for good guidance so that we'll do the right thing at the right time. I thank you very much and I assure you that we are going to do just that. Thank you very much.